again, I, I'm a little bit shy, a little bit self-conscious. I, I, I have some, you know, I have positive anxiety doing the painting. I have negative anxiety about going out and, 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 and taking photos. My name is Rob Gracio, and I am a photorealistic painter. I live in Denver, Colorado. I, I love the idea of reflection because it lets us in sometimes and it keeps us out sometimes. I do what I call still life paintings and landscape paintings. Landscape paintings are basically the windows and doorways of cities. And what I look for in those is, is mostly a lot of different planes of, of sight. My paintings look rather realistic. I often say that I make that realism by, by putting together a whole lot of little abstract pieces. I think in terms of uh, shape and color and value and just try to put them together, perhaps in an abstract way. And sometimes after I've been painting something for a couple of weeks, I realize, oh, that's, that's the front of a Volkswagen bus or something that, that I've been painting. You know? I think I am really drawn to, to the complexity of it. When, when I see something that I, that I think I might want to paint, I get kind of a, a, a soul kick. I don't know if that makes sense, but there's something inside it that, man, I really want to get that. It's one of the exciting parts of my, of my work for me, is to see something that I think, this is good, this is gonna be exciting, it's gonna be a challenge. It's gonna be um, a, a, a journey with a good friend. I love the idea of solving rather complex problems. The real painting process starts, I'll, I'll crop any photograph that I have. I'll put a grid pattern on, on the photograph and a grid pattern on the, on the canvas. And I will do uh, an intricate drawing of whatever the subject is. So it's important for me to be on good terms with, with the painting I'm doing. And almost every day when I go to the, to the canvas, I am feeling uh, some degree of uh, happy anticipation. Another trick, I guess, it, it might be, if, if I'm looking at a color and I don't know what it is, I'll take a piece of paper and cut a hole in it and put it right over that part of the photograph and isolate it. And then I'll, I'll say, oh yeah, I can mix that color. But when it's surrounded by all the other colors in the photograph, a lot of times it's very, very hard to understand what it is. I can tell when a painting's going well because before I leave the house, I'll always go look at it. I feel a very positive adrenaline come through my system when I'm working on a painting and it's, and it's going well. I feel, uh, a, and I, I also feel very grateful to, to be doing it. And that's kind of what I'm looking for when I'm taking the photographs. You know, something that we walk by every day and suddenly I'm stopping and, and kind of capturing that, that scene that we walk by every day and yet we just don't see it. You know, one of the best things that anybody's said to me is um, that they'll never look at the world the same way again. 